I guess sometimes we think these situations sort of develop later on in the season. But as you mentioned, the pace is clearly more on Max's side than Perez's, and maybe that's why it makes sense. Now, we've got some other really interesting inter-team battles. Let's talk about George and Lewis. Do you think George has the upper hand on Lewis at the moment? Um, I think George in one lap pace is doing a much better job than Lewis. He's getting more out of the car in one lap. But you look at what Lewis did yesterday, you know, it's kind of weird that he went on the radio and told the guy, let's park the car, and it kind of gave up. I understand why he did that, being on the back and thinking there's nothing to do and the car hasn't been competitive the last few races. So I think it was a surprise for him how quick the car was through the race. And if you look at it, I think if he didn't have the incident in the first lap, he probably would have had a chance to win the race. Um, the other thing that, that is different, I think he got excited halfway through the race when it started getting to the points and he saw it his pace being really quick i think it got him excited to run harder and harder and harder and and it's fun you know when when lewis is on his a game it's hard you know what i mean i think yeah george can do a job in one lap and but it's got a lot to learn from lewis and, and race pace that's where lewis you know the, the thing when valtteri was there you know the pace of lewis on the races was incredible Mm. You touched on it there with regards to Lewis wanting to retire the car early to save the engine. How, how much is it a mental game when it comes to motivation when you know you've been in a very competitive car for many years, you've been very successful and now things haven't really been working in their favor? It seems to be going in the right direction, but is it common to see those kinds of motivational drops in drivers? Well, think about it. You just got hit on your first lap. You did a whole in lap with a flat tire. You gotta go and do a pit stop that it took a long time to change because the you know when when the tire is flat, the jack they cannot get the jack under the car, and you would think there's probably front wing damage and everything. So at that point, you go. I mean, you start the race and you're I don't know 60, 70 seconds behind the leader. It's like what are we doing? You know what are we gonna achieve? You know are we doing all this to get a couple of points? Mm -hmm. When when you look at from Lewis' point of view. I understand it because he's used to cars that can win races and you score 25 points every weekend. But when you're scoring, you know, for eighth place or 10th place, it's it's hard. But, you know, the team made the right call of telling him to stay in it. And and impressively enough, he really didn't give up. You know, what I mean, when they told him he needed to go, he got on with the job and, and it was good to see.